Hi, I'm Tim Rowling, CEO of Oscope, Australia's provider of tools, data and talent to the geoscience research community. Today, I present Oscope's highlights for the last 12 months from the unceded lands of the Wurundjeri people. I pay my respects to the Wurundjeri and all First Nation elders, past and present, as the first geoscientists around the continent where our teams work. This year, post-pandemic, Oscope has grown and innovated as the Australian Government has released the 2021 National Research Infrastructure Roadmap and new NCRIS funding guidelines. We are excited and prepared to continue to meet our nation's geoscience challenges. First, let me welcome Dr. Rebecca Farrington and Professor Cam McQuaig to our team. Rebecca is a science leader to the newly created role of Director of Research Data Systems at HQ, and Cam McQuaig, an experienced researcher and applied mineral exploration leader to our board. Excitingly, we also welcome many new faces and thus perspectives to our projects. Now let's step through our activities that fall under each of Oscope's seven strategic goals, which move us closer to realising a sustainable and resilient nation through predictive geoscience. Oscope's primary focus is to build Australia's downward looking telescope, an analogy that helps explain our geographically dispersed and digitally connected research infrastructure system that helps geoscientists understand the Earth and measure, track and model changes, both natural and human induced, in the Australian continent. This year, the DLT has evolved and grown. Curtin University launched the new Oscope Geoscience Iron Microprobe, making decades more critical planetary, biological and environmental research possible. The facility was opened by the Western Australian Minister for Mines and the French Ambassador. Ausgeochem continued to grow, incorporating additional data models to support researchers who ask both fundamental and applied questions of the Earth and its resources. The Oscope Geochemistry Network grew, now with 13 institutional partners, as well as Museums Victoria, providing data science support and a rich national data set and analytics for community use. In response to research themes and challenges outlined in the NRI roadmap, particularly those that are underpinned by critical mineral discovery and characterisation, Oscope has also supported enhanced access to sub-nanoscale ore characterisation using atom probe tomography, enhanced optimisation of strontium isotope age dating and micro XRF chemical analysis, development of a national database of critical minerals in hull rock, ore and mine waste, mobile access to multi-sensor core logger by the State and Territory Geological Surveys, Earth imaging in the Kernamona Geological Province in South Australia and New South Wales. Earth imaging in South Australia collaborating with mineral explorers FMG and Western Areas. Ocean bottom seismometer deployments and retrieval from the Macquarie Ridge. Provision of seismometers to researchers monitoring subglacial drainage in Antarctica. Testing new earth imaging and magnetotelluric equipment in Greenland. And developing a national drone capability for the geosciences. Integral to the DLT is our capacity to provide researchers with fair data that's findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. This year, with Rebecca's guidance, we've started a fair data audit of Oscope projects, continued the Geophysics 2030 collaborative project with NCI, ARDC and TURN to prepare time series data for HPC and exascale computing applications and led the geochemistry component of the European Union's Horizon 2020 World Fair project in collaboration with CoData. Our team is at the heart of Oscope's DLT, fostering a sense of connectedness, inclusivity and equity to enact purposeful innovation is part of our daily work. Recently, we held a special online event called Oscope Convergence, where Associate Professor Leah Heiss introduced us to a design thinking approach to innovation and collaboration. Geoscience innovators shared their tips, and we held a peer-to-peer -peer discussion on overcoming community-identified barriers to collaboration. To help upskill future geoscientists, we supported the Camp for Applied Geophysics Excellence to raise awareness of the links between geoscience, sustainable development and climate change, we contributed to the National Science Week through collaborative video campaign with 27 NCRIS peers and created an immersive Earth imaging experience. We also supported the inaugural Earth Futures Festival. Oscope has continued to enhance Indigenous, industry and international engagement. We have supported the transition of the Geoscience Indigenous Collaboration and Engagement Group to the Geological Society of Australia as a specialist group to ensure sustainable governance. Supported discovery of the Julemar deposit through Oscope-supported Osiray data, 
launched a new platform for discovery of GRACE and INSAR satellite data for continental scale groundwater, environmental and subsidence monitoring. Developed an MOU with the European Plate Observing System, or EPOS, to start building a global research capability for geosciences. You can learn more about our work and the exciting research that is enabled by us and NCRIS via our website. I close by thanking our HQ team, project teams and users for the work you continue to do each year to make Oscope a unique national asset in support of Australian geoscience research and Australia's sustainable and resilient future. Take care and let's do more impactful work next year.